you know, at the end of the day, all of you Valentino, Shevchenko haters or, you know, Shevchenko deniers, you know how you got these 9-11 deniers? Looks like you got these Shevchenko deniers that don't want to deny what happened. And Valentina moved to flyweight. All the success she had at 135, like, it, it wasn't real. And, and really, she's just, a, you know, a, uh, uh, a champion that has been propped up, you know, running on virtual reality until the vision really comes into its true fruition. I don't know what the fuck people are thinking, but you know one thing about the bullet? One thing that nobody can say? She ain't afraid to call out no fucking body. And I know a lot of people like to say, well, she doesn't really talk. She's not much of a speaker either. So, 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 why you think she's, she's better? Than, 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 than other fighters at it. Well, let me explain to you. As you see in this picture, this is Valentino Shevchenko calling out Amanda Nunes. Now, Amanda talking skills are like negative zero, but I'll say this. At least she had the heart to actually step into the cage and give Valentina an opportunity. But even if you want to argue, well, she gave her the opportunity to call out. Yeah, but how many fighters don't actually call the fighter out that gives them the opportunity? And I mean a real call out. I'm not talking about a bullshit one like, well, yeah, I, I guess I'll fight you. That's not a call out. Valentina looked that woman dead in her fucking eyes and says, I believe my next fight is a title shot. Is oh boy, am I speaking Yiddish or something? I believe that my next fight is the title fight, and I'm coming to take that belt. That's how you call a motherfucker out. Which yours is mine, like it was always mine. So you got to give that shit up. Now this video. In this video, we're going to discuss the art of calling the motherfucker out, okay? And we're going to use a couple examples. The number one example that we're going to use is from my man, Nate Diaz. See, the problem with women's mixed martial arts, that one of the main things we determine is an issue in the game for the women and the lion's den mixed martial arts community is these ladies don't know how to call people out. So let's go over calling people out. This is how you do it. Here's the classic way of doing it. Right after you didn't beat the hell out of your opponent and they had said your name and the winner is no, 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 right? Whatever. Mary Jane, Jack Jill, whatever, right? When the when the commentator comes over with the microphone, completely ignore everything that he's saying. Go into a cold stare. It's even better if the person that you want to fight is there so you can look right at him. But don't pay any attention to the speaker. When he puts that mic up to your mouth, you snatch that mic, and you just go the fuck off, like, I don't care nothing about that right now, the only thing I'm focusing on is how can I get my hands on that bitch over there, on that piece of shit of a wannabe true champion, I'm the true champion, I'm gonna go into that ring, and I'm gonna beat the brakes off you, Put them back on and beat the brakes off you again. That's my belt. It belongs to me. I'm the real champion. Let's go. That's how you do it.
that's how you fucking do it. You understand? Now, there's another way you can call a person out. And it's called simply use the narrative. So, for example, if the champion is six one and you're five six and a half, when they come up to you with the mic, you just say something like, "Hey, I might be only five six and a half, and the champ might be six one, but you know what they say." The bigger they are, the bigger the ass whoop whoopers they gonna catch when I put my hands on them. And they gonna fall. So give me that title shot, Dana. I'm ready. Now, there's a third way you can call a person out. This is what I like to call the... We're the last two gangsters alive. Shout out again to Jorge... To Nate Diaz, when he called out Jorge Masvidal. So let me give you an example. Let me make something up real quick. And the winner is Robert Henry. Robert Henry, man, that was an awesome fight. You really beat the hell out of uh, Homie the Clown. So uh, who are you interested in fighting now? Well, Jack, you know, at the end of the day, me and Jay Rose, we the last two niggas, real niggas alive. You know, it's official. So I really think uh, for the integrity of the game, me and him need to do this live on YouTube immediately. You see how easy it is it's not hard to call a motherfucker out. You just got to dig down deep and pull out that inner savage. 